very good morning to students today we are going to study about the and learn about the input crushing technology input crushing and conveying technology which is a very dominated uh, uh, mechanism and technology presently using in mines but it is a, uh, some special advantages than the a general convention system yes uh, today topic is modern trends in open cast mining uh, this is a latest uh, modern technology uh, method of working in pit crushing technology with a case study also uh, yes my name is karuna kumar hod mining uh, government polytechnic kutubur the basic topic is open cast mining this is one view of the open cast mine on completion of this topic you would be able to listen the applicable conditions of in pit crushing technology you can able to explain the method of working in pit crushing technology with case study list the advantages to in pit crushing technology list the disadvantages of in pit crushing technology right these are the uh, major uh, for uh, after completion of the uh, this you can able to understand the all these things right i'm going to the one by one next what is the meaning by input crushers increase in truck haulage distance coupled with the expensive diesel fuel prices in recent years have diverted producers to the accelerated alternate hauling and transportation system especially in the continuous conveying system and input crushing have received in the bulk of the attention the crushers used may be garreter jaw crusher or roll type depending upon the rock to be crushed let us uh, see that what is the basic idea uh, after completion of the blasting activity uh, the loading activity is going on the through the uh, with the help of the um, dumpers they are conveying the material to the chp coal handling plant instead of hauling the uh, through the dumpers so lot of uh, diesel uh, so so now it is 85 480 86 rupees uh, per liter diesel is there as on 2020 is concerned uh, you see the depending upon the crude oil it may be fluctuating so uh, so that what happening the hauling transportation charge is lost again we have to crush the diesel depending upon the customer requirement most of the uh, coal coal or you know ob uh, for conveniently dump transport from that to that uh, consumer who is uh, required uh, that is a very advantageous uh, for specified uh, site for which we require the crushers the crushers are dominantly using in the iron ore mines garreter in coal mines most of them the jaw crusher is a popular level and roller type of stuff and depending on the crushing of the material is concerned so the mineral processing activity is started itself only that is the mine itself in only that is a basic advantage of this input crushing mechanism but uh, there is a diversified uh, other disadvantage also there of course uh, the more dust is rising maintenance problem and location of the input crushing is also big challenge and from crushing to point to the uh, the where you have to uh, transport uh, the long belt conveyor should be maintained in the open atmosphere so these are the challenges are there uh, with that uh, compared to the uh, uh, dumper transport system input crushing conveying is a modern method and also uh, convenient for the uh, mining point of view let us go to next slide compressive strength of the rock is an important factor in choice of the crushing type this is a, a well known factor uh, earlier also uh, for the any any uh, crushing or uh, required the uh, 10 to 80 megapascal of the compressive strength of the rock is for the uh, 
surface conscious manner. Similarly, uh, here also, uh, depending upon the compressor strength of that particular uh, 50 megapascal or 30 megapascal, that will be the uh, choice of the your crushing tab. It must, however, be remember that other parameters, notably abrasive wear, must be used in a crushing uh, selection. Uh, the immediate thrust in the design of the crushers is uh, reduce the size of the cast uh, or crushers and the long term feature may be a new technique such as ultras ultrasonic rather than the mechanical crushers. Uh, these are the um, new uh, trend in ultrasonic uh, uh, type of crushing also. Uh, see that uh, mechanism how far it will be applicable in the mines instead of mechanical growing. Uh, there are a major crushers are two types one is the semi mobile and mobile crushers so mobile crushers have crawler mounted you can move from the bench uh, that end to this end uh, depending upon uh, usages uh, other one is a mobile crusher uh, this is also popularly uh, semi mobile uh, means it is stable in uh, somewhere for, uh, next time this is shifting to one place to other place this is one uh, pictorial view for the crushing mechanism entire mine is showing in the glass box this is model not a reality so you observe the activities what is going on inside See that this is a dumper uh, power into the material. So there is a crushing mechanism uh, as per the requirement uh, of the customer requirement. Uh, sizes are will be separated here. So when the processing technique start here, the primary crushers, basically primary crushing technology, is going in. in uh, is by seeing this figure, you can observe this one. See, same figure here also the elaborately at a hall road they are establishing one bench downside a, a crusher is fixed here a crusher is fixed here with the vehicle movement and uh, power into the material into the uh, primary crusher system primary mechanism One more figure you go through. I'm going to next figure. Yes, yes, this is yes. So this is a uh, it's a top view. You see, this is a top view. Uh, the benches, the moment is here observed. So uh, there is a further uh, the location. The location of the crusher is also very important uh, for convenient to the but reduce the our aim is to reduce the hauling distance of the dumpers. So, such way, I am showing you the downside, uh, downside benches, the, what are the activities going on? And this is the primary crusher.
so this is another mechanism this is a mobile crusher mobile jack crusher uh, here you observe it this is a crawler mounted he said it can be mobile uh, any place where the uh, work is going on for example he is a excavator uh, power into the material over the uh, prime crusher uh, uh, hopper so automatically uh, the required size uh, coming outside the such places so you can be connected from here to other places by other uh, any uh, any conveying purpose or um, simply here from here to there will be transport to the uh, customer requirement so this is the ob i think uh, uh, a stone crushing uh, system So in pit crushers, this is another model. So heavy type of input crushing mechanism. There is a house, the build here, and a mine itself. So this is a popular model. This is a model. It's a cutting. The material is poured into the crusher here. It's going to the uh, connectivity uh, bench. Uh, uh what do you call it conveyor belts so conveyor belt long conveying system is also there in the in this type of uh mechanism sandwich mechanism so here you see is observe the all the activity is going on how long the conveying the material from here to there will be long conveying mechanism So this is a large uh, groove work, complete uh, uh, activities of uh, input crushing mechanism. I can reduce this figure again somewhat. Yes, this is a complete mechanism. You can able to see. Yes. So they see it here. There is a input crushing uh, prime crusher are there. From here, the different sizes are uh, crusher made by jaw crusher and uh, roller crushers. Uh, after primary crusher and secondary crusher activity is also going here. So depending upon the sizes, the end product can be transferred from here itself. 
So mine itself, this is the inputting crushing means input. There is a there mine itself. Uh, what are the required size can be crushed and uh, taken away to the beneficial plant. So complete layout I am showing here. You can easily understand the what are the activity what is going on from mine to other places. Here is a shovel number three is working here. So there is an input crusher here. So this one the material transporting here to here. So there is a, a standard a, a relocated. Uh, there is a collector, common collector is there here. Similarly, the shovel number two is working here. This is the position. It's a bench one, bench two, bench three. So here there is another input crushing technology is there. So through this one, the material is going transported to this intermediate uh, horizontal control and I will connect it to the main uh, relocated and uh, um, collector. Similarly, down bench, there is another shovel one, input crusher. So this is the trap chain, bridge chain conveyor. So overall, complete bench on uh, bench one, bench two, bench three, the, all the material will be transported to one conveyor. This is a, a comprehensive uh, sketch. Shaker conveyor, portable conveyor. This is a shaker portable conveyor. Uh, bunker collector and horizontal control conveyor. These are all the activities from the shovel one, shovel two, shovel three. And also there are input crushers and the conveying system at mine site. So another uh, uh, mode is, is a high angle belt conveyor system. Uh, the, when the bench benches, uh, some uh, sometimes the benches uh, height is required to the high level. So making them to uh, local um, transportation, particular truck transportation, the huge uh, um, uh, horsepower is required to the uh, overcoming to the uh, up upgrading system. In such cases. To avoid the uh, more uh, diesel consumption and uh, vehicle wear and tear is uh, happening, in such conditions, uh, you uh, use a high angle belt conveyor system uh, with crusher and conveying the, the material to the other other height. So, this is a, a shower, is a excavator is working there. There is an input mobile crusher system is there here. Uh, from here, open pit wheel loader, the open pit wheel loader. Uh, transport the material to the uh, high angle belt conveyor. High angle belt conveyor. The belt conveyor is rotating like escalator in the lifting you know, in your supermarkets or uh, shopping malls, just like uh, the material will be powered here. The material will be going transported to the uphill and uh, power to the depending upon the rail section or uh, uh, any other mode of transportation here. 
So this much of height will be getting the advantage. This is the height. Uh, you are showing H is the height. I is the, uh, the gradient of this one. A self-powered high angle conveyor system. So this is the one uh, typical example and working uh, site model. Uh, see the continuity of uh, uh, built transportation of the uh, OB, crushed OB material to the uh, from the point to the other end. See here. So there is an intermediate system is there uh, for. Uh, maintenance of the angle and elevation of the point of view. You see one section is there here and then to a lateral process, the horizontal process, if you think that uh, another lateral section is also here. So this is another model uh, transportation of input crushing mechanism. See here, this is the top view. This is a mobile crusher. See this is the bottom is the crawlers. So the excavator power the material over the hop hopper so the crushed material will come in a different sizes and from here the conveyor another conveyor belt which is already shown here the first part yes so see that this is the connectivity of the uh, the input crushing for this unit connectivity and another same model I show you in the from bottom level.
this is the bottom level well this is another model as you see that the mobile tech which is mobile crusher so x squared is power the metal into over the hopper so this is the primary crushing system from here the if required uh, collected here itself this is uh, a uh, one more technology another is your conveying system is also there crush and conveying system is also there so complete uh, glue system here to uh, coal mining uh, the dumpers are coming and power into the coal inside the crusher this is the coal mine activity So this is a simple uh, understanding purpose. Uh, what are the activities going on in the sequence operation? Uh, so for the for purpose of drawing, uh, for examination point of view, there is a dumper uh, collected from the mine site and power to the first activity and forward to the uh, crusher hopper. Here is the a uh, crusher mechanism, it may jaw crusher or granite crusher. From here, the third post is the uh, the finished material uh, power into the another hopper from here again you have to convey to the customer or who is the required beneficial plants so these are the four activity for the input crushing and conveying mechanism So that here is a semi-mobile crusher. It's not a mobile crushing mechanism. Uh, it is a line diagram we are showing here. Uh, there is a material, there is a crushing mechanism and conveying to the, to the line diagram for semi-crushing and side view for the per crusher. another model so this is the uh, 
uh, a, a machine is crushed here. Uh, the cr crushed material will be transferred to the a bridge conveyor. From here, the lateral transport system is a, a long conveyor is there, or collector is collector conveyor is there. So these are the parts of the uh, imprint crushing parts, electrical controller, discharge conveyor, hydraulic boom and breaker, uh, and also other parts also showing, uh, cabin and other speeder and the system. So this is another bucket wheel excavator transport system. There is also, there is a bucket wheel connection. Scraper spread is called a spreader, long spreader. So from the material, the crushed material will be transported a long journey from here. Most of the uh, uh, naval lignite corporation, this type of uh, conveyor mechanism for lignite mines are using. To near a power plant, they transport directly. Uh, Naivelli Power Corporation Limited. See that uh, as you cut the OB material, a rope shovel, and power into the a mobile crusher. Mobile crusher uh, here. Sometime in the, this is using presently in uh, OB converted into uh, sand. Such conditions also, these type of uh, mechanisms are using. In particular, Bhopal Pelli and Manukur area uh, presently they practiced it. OB material crushed in a uh, Required size of the sand needed to sand from by the primary crusher and secondary crusher. Later, also, uh, the fineness uh, needed to reach the, the property of the sand, and also that sand can be reused into the uh, underground mines uh, filling purpose and also uh, for the building other marketing purpose. So, this is a most popularly a modern mechanism using in the uh, some areas. Then, uh, this is the uh, other type of uh, um, model. Uh, sh the shovel is a uh, material power into the crusher. The crusher will be transported the material through the uh, conveyor mine, conveyors. So, this is conveyors, the material transport to the other end. So semi-mobile crushers, a semi-mobile crusher is installed in an open pit at a point where it uh, can remain uh, for some time. Uh, coals is fed into the crushers by trucks which play a between the crusher and the shovel. The world largest semi-mobile crusher is installed at the uh, Begum Copper Mines in the USA. It is a 9000 tons per hour capacity. This is one example of case study. It is installed on a concrete foundation above the tunnel bench with the total height of the uh, 36 meters. Support wall built with uh, reinforced earth uh, stabilize uh, the bench, uh, the bench and carry the load of the truck approach road. Uh, the 1.5 to 2.8 meters airlines, uh, uh, chamblers, uh, gyratory crushers is located beneath the uh, 600 ton tumper hopper and discharge the crusher on, over into the search bin with the 
300 meter cube storage capacity that is a the container capacity from there is a wide transfer conveyor feeds the main 1.8 meter wide to 8 kilometer long course or good air conveyor the dynamic nature of the the manufacturers good air conveyor belt that carries the ore through the open pit uh, hanging wall uh, in the lowest of three old rail tunnels to the new uh, copper ton concentrator uh, this is the one case model for the uh, the model is concerned in pit crushing model is concerned uh, they say mobile crusher is also there we see so many uh, figures uh, and above uh, live figures and pictures are you are already seen above slides a mobile crusher uh, is an electrically powered machine and may be wheel mounted or crawler mounted most of the crawler mounted uh, it is for the um, over of the crusher on a hydraulic uh, pads for the moment it receives material uh, from the shovel uh, crushers uh, the oversize and the transport the materials of request size uh, to mobile transfer transfer conveyor known as a belt wagon mobile crushers advise uh, with the face in open past uh, cast of coal or hard uh, rock mine the blasting excavator crusher belt conveyor operations work as a system so this is the basic operations uh, the sequence is blasting excavator crusher belt conveyor operations are the working is a system this complete this is called mobile crushers mechanism the development of the mobile crushers has come about due to the every deepening of open cast mines and the demand of the industry to take the material processing equipment nearer to the uh, source of the extraction uh, this is the one former west germany company uh, have designed such a mobile crusher which the uh, use in different countries a unit weight uh, 540 tons uh, with uh, throw output uh, 2300 tons per hour requires um, in mn power in cooperation to uh, ulana coal mines limited operation 300 km northwest sydney nsw australia also this type models are there at this uh, at this mine the open pit operations involve a modified uh, strip mining process coal is mined in a 60 meters wide and approximately 700 meter long strip this mobile crusher is wheel mounted coal broken to 300 mm size in crushers is uh, discharged by the uh, swivel mounted boom into the belt wagon with uh, uh, 30 meters drum interval uh, belt elements shifted by a lift truck and uh, with a drum with a drum uh, interval of 45 meters link uh, up with the stationary central belt as may as uh, 18 such conveyor elements per meter strip length of over the 800 meters this is such a model in uh, west germany uh, most of uh, uh, the belt conveyor uh, and mechanism and convey mechanism are popularly using but in case of uh, in our india conditions particularly they go through the navel ignite and uh, there after condition of vehicle belt conveyor they go to the uh, proper crushing the material and sending to the customer through the belt conveyor in uh, our cigarette and colleagues also they are using the core conversion technique that means uh, ob converted into sand practices case uh, Bhopal Pelli and Manugur area uh, predominantly using, uh, particularly uh, OB is a crushed at the mine itself. Later on, there is a other processing with the water. Uh, they utilizing the uh, OB into as a sand, uh, nearer to characters of the sand. Uh, this is another technique, which is techniques for the input question. And also Godarakan area directly uh, NTPS uh, before the this is not only for the customer purpose, they are also convenient for the conveyor belt size, also possible to the transportation system is concerned. So these type of examples you can see net also, you can go through the latest model, but the technology is the basic thing is the uh, blasting material, excavator, crush the material at input or mobile crusher um, or semi-mobile mechanism. From there, a long belt conveyor by using that material to the 
uh, end product here. So this is a, a, a dominantly reducing the transportation by vehicles uh, instead of in mine. In a difficult a high angle belt conveyor is also uh, one type of advantages in the uh, this modern uh, technologies is concerned. Uh, this is a summary of uh, uh, overall uh, input crushing technology. I hope you are understand the uh, discuss all the applicable conditions of input crushing technology, method of working, uh, input crushing technology in within case study, uh, the advantages to input crushing technology, and uh, disadvantage also you are learning. Most of the uh, uh, basic advantages are not disadvantages, are most dust is rising is more is a problem, and maintenance problems, breakdowns. The one system is breakdown, the entire system is collapsing. Uh, wait for the uh, excavator is waiting for the after up to repairing of the uh, input crusher. crusher. So these are the uh, small maintenance problem is also the entire chain will be stopped. Uh, that is the one uh, disadvantage of the uh, non-cyclic operation. So, so that the cyclic operation make the challenges these things. So now I giving you the one small question for the purpose of uh, in the quiz point of view. Uh, semi mobiles and mobile crushers and all of the input crushers. Uh, this is one typical example. Uh, go through the give a assignment for you. Uh, write the assignment. Write about the applicable conditions in percussion technology. So on this, you write the one simple assignment. And also in board examination, frequently ask some questions are uh, coming in the. Uh, your board uh, examinations for appearing purpose on the implication technology and this type of questions may be expected in the examination uh, let list the applicable conditions of input crushing technology list the applicable conditions of input crushing technology explain the method of working input crushing technology with the case study list the advantages to the input crushing technology List the disadvantages of input crushing technology. So, see, these are the uh, most uh, operation questions uh, coming in growth in the your examination part of. I hope you enjoyed the today class because this is a new modern technique. Uh, it presently, is not new for us because of most of the senior colleagues also using this this type of method. Uh, but you understand the principle, basic principle is important. Uh, see once at the guidelines the uh, what are you are uh, already grown through at the guidelines so for the understanding purpose I slide slow some one or two few pictures for uh, your further refreshing and a revision of uh, the entire this class Right. For this, uh, I'm concluding the lecture. Thank you. Thank you very much.